Hey, history buffs and curious minds. Think about around 75,000 years back when the Earth experienced something extraordinary. Enter Mount Toba, a colossal volcano that decided to make its mark on our planet. This eruption might have affected life on Earth, from the tiniest plants to our ancient human ancestors. Some scientists suggest this eruption might have had a profound impact on our ancestors, potentially altering their world in unexpected ways. But not everyone agrees on the full story. There's a heated debate among experts, each with their own take on just how big of a deal this eruption really was. So get ready to dive deep into this captivating tale of Mount Tobus eruption. We'll uncover the theories the mysteries, and the ongoing quest to unravel the secrets of this ancient cataclysm. Welcome to the enthralling world of the Toba Catastrophe Theory. Picture this. Around 75,000 years ago, there was this colossal volcano called Mount Toba over in what's now Sumatra, Indonesia. And it was a super volcano. When Mount Toba blew its top, it was an absolute monster eruption. It spewed out the crazy amount of volcanic ash, gases, and debris. Way more than your regular volcanic eruption. In fact, scientists reckon it was one of the biggest eruptions in the past couple of million years. All that stuff, the ash and tiny particles called aerosols shot high up into the atmosphere. These aerosols and ash did something wild. They created what scientists call a volcanic winter. It's like when Mother Nature hits the pause button on summer and turns the world icy. The ash and particles hung around in the air, blocking out sunlight and causing the planet to cool down fast. Think about it. Less sunlight reaching the ground means things start to get chilly. And we're not just talking about your regular cold snap here. We're talking about a serious drop in temperatures all across the globe. It's like putting Earth in a big freezer. This cooling effect wasn't just for a day or two. It might have lasted for years. Yes, years. Can you imagine what that's like? Everything gets colder and that messes with the usual way things work in nature. Plants might struggle to grow, animals might have a tough time finding food. It's a real tough gig for life on Earth. Now, this sudden change in climate wasn't just bad news for nature. It might have given our ancient human ancestors a rough time too. Picture this. You're living your life, doing your thing, and suddenly, the world gets colder and resources become scarce. It might have caused some chaos for humans trying to survive back then. Some scientists even think this could have led to a temporary shakeup in human populations across the planet. They have this theory, a bit out there but fascinating, that the aftermath of Mount Tobus explosion might have caused what they call a genetic bottleneck for humans. You might be asking yourselves, what on earth is a genetic bottleneck? Well, it's like when you're trying to fit a bunch of people through a tiny door. Only a few lucky ones make it through, while others get left behind. Here's the deal. This mega eruption might have thrown our ancestors for a loop. The volcanic winter, that period of crazy cold caused by all that volcanic ash in the air, might have messed with the environment big time. Picture this. Sudden change in weather making it harder for people to find food stay warm, and survive. So, what happens when survival gets tough? Well, the population might shrink, right? Some scientists think that's exactly what happened. They reckon that because of this rough patch caused by Mount Toba, the number of humans walking the earth might have drastically dropped. Imagine going from a big bunch of people to just a small crew struggling to make it through. That's the idea behind this genetic bottleneck theory. With fewer people around, there's less diversity in genes. It's like having a smaller pool of traits and characteristics to pass down to the next generation. Here's where it gets intriguing. If there were only a few humans left after this volcanic chaos, 
their genes, the stuff that makes each of us unique, might have become more similar. It's like the survivors carried a limited set of traits that got passed down and became more common among future generations. So, while it's a bit of a head-scratcher, some scientists think that Mount Toba's eruption might have not just changed the climate. It might have had a lasting impact on our ancestors' genes, shaping the genetic diversity of humans as we know it today. Wild, right? But not everyone's on board with that idea. You see, there are these scientists who think, hey, hold on a sec. Was it really as huge a deal as some say? They're not fully convinced that this eruption had this massive impact on the climate. They question whether it was this apocalyptic event that drastically affected the environment and ancient human populations. Some researchers have dug into this theory and found bits that don't quite line up. They're looking at evidence like climate records and geological data that don't exactly scream catastrophe. They're not denying the eruption happened, but they're saying maybe it wasn't as earth-shattering for the climate and humans as we initially thought. Then you've got these other scientists who are all in, waving the flag for the Toba eruption being this colossal game-changer. They're analyzing everything, from ash layers to climate models, trying to piece together how it might have caused a volcanic winter and affected our ancestors' lives. It's like a good old-fashioned debate. On one side, those who believe the Toba eruption was a world-altering event. And on the other, the skeptics saying, hold your horses, folks. Maybe it wasn't that dramatic after all. This back and forth keeps the scientific community buzzing. So, these scientists are like detectives trying to crack a big old case about Mount Toba's eruption. They're not giving up. They're using all sorts of cool tricks and tools to uncover the truth behind this ancient blast. First off, imagine them digging through the Earth's layers, studying rocks and sediments like they're reading on an ancient storybook. That's the geological side of things. They're looking for traces left by the eruption, like layers of ash and debris, to figure out just how big of a bang Mount Toba really made. Then there's the climate gang. They're like weather wizards, using their computer magic to simulate how this eruption might have messed with the planet's climate. They're tweaking their models, plugging in data about the volcanic ash and gases, trying to see if it matches up with what the Earth might have gone through after that mega eruption. Picture archaeologists sifting through ancient sites, looking for clues buried in the past. They're checking out artifacts, searching for signs that might link up with this eruption story. They're asking questions like, did our ancestors leave behind any hints that this volcanic chaos affected their lives? And then there are the gene detectives. They're diving deep into our DNA, trying to figure out if there's any genetic evidence that supports the idea of a population bottleneck caused by the Toba eruption. They're looking for genetic markers that might hint at a time when our human family tree took a bit of a hit. All these teams of scientists are on a mission, working together like pieces of a puzzle, trying to solve this mystery from different angles. They're sharing their findings, arguing, debating, and brainstorming, all to piece together what really went down when Mount Toba blew its top thousands of years ago. It's like this grand investigation that's still ongoing, they're not ready to close the case just yet. So while they're not entirely sure about the exact impact of that volcanic explosion, they're determined to keep digging, studying, and exploring until they get to the bottom of this fascinating chapter in our planet's history. In the captivating saga of Mount Toba's eruption 75,000 years ago, the scientific community embarks on an enthralling quest to unravel the mysteries surrounding this colossal event. The eruption of this supervolcano, with its immense release of ash, gases, and debris, triggered a debate among experts. Some assert its transformative impact on our planet, 
suggesting a global chill in temperatures and a potential bottleneck in ancient human populations. The notion of a volcanic winter, altering the environment and causing upheaval for both nature and our ancestors open doors to intriguing possibilities. The concept of a genetic bottleneck, where a reduced human population might have shaped genetic diversity, presents a fascinating yet contentious theory. However, not all experts align with this cataclysmic perspective. Skeptics challenge the severity of its impact, pointing to discrepancies in climate records and geological findings. This debate fuels a continual investigation into the extent of the eruption's consequences on the climate and ancient human civilizations. As scientists don the hats of detectives, delving into geological layers, climate simulations, archaeological remnants, and genetic analysis, they form a multidisciplinary pursuit to uncover the truth. The quest persists, characterized by collaboration, debate, and relentless exploration, akin to solving an ancient mystery with each piece of evidence analyzed. Ultimately, the story of Mount Tobus eruption is a testament to the curiosity and perseverance of humanity's pursuit of knowledge. The conclusion remains elusive, but the journey towards understanding this pivotal chapter in Earth's history continues, ensuring that the volcano's tale will be a captivating narrative for generations to come.